honourable and respected brothers and elders. But Danny, I don't know if you lot saw a recent clip or not. We, we've been recently, we've been speaking about mu'amalat and mu'ashara. Mu'ashara basically are our mu'amalat are our social dealings, meaning like, for example, financial dealings and how we deal with people. Okay, they're your mu'amalat. So if, if I have a deal with this brother in business, that's a mu'amala. So plural of mu'amala is mu'amalat. And then you have mu'ashara, our social interactions. How do we interact with one another? How do we treat one another? And so on. Now, because obviously last week, I spoke specifically about an introduction to a bayan, and I, I gave it the on one of kisi ko taklif nado. Don't give taklif and difficulty to anybody. And I mentioned a hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he mentioned takufu sharak anin nas. Keep your evil away from people, meaning don't let people be affected by you. One of the most beloved things Allah subhanahu wa taala has undoubtedly is the deen of Allah. Allah ko apna deen bhot pasand hai. Kyu? If you look right. If you, let me ask you a question. Who did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love the most? Anyone? Aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, Aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also had to make taklif and mujahada for deen. So how, much, how, does Allah, how much does Allah love deen then? Give Aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he made him do qurbani for deen. So then deen Allah ko kitna pasand hoga? Do you want to understand this? Okay, Allah loves the deen, but Allah loves Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But even Aab Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had to make sacrifice for the deen. So we understand deen is very important in the eyes of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, very important. So when we see people presenting Islam, presenting deen in the wrong way, for us there's a problem in that. Why? Because that person does not uphold the proper characteristic, the proper akhlaq, the proper manner, the method and the tariqah of Aab Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we have two you know, recently there was a clip that had gone viral and it really pained me and I, I didn't want to react at the time. But really, I don't know if you guys saw it, it's taken now, it's gone out of the hands of the committee, it's now gone to legal issues. But there was this one individual in Pakistan, I don't want to mention the city, but it went viral where what he's doing is that he's beating the kids up. One Kari sub, he's beating the children up. Or pata hai, wo pipe se patai kar rahe. Pipe nahi hota hai, rubber pipe. He's beating the kids up with the rubber pipe. Now, that's one clip I saw. Before I saw another one, this one was in Bangladesh. Where one Moli sahab, old guy, he's getting the child to say a word and he's saying, Razaqa. And the, guy was, the kid was saying, Rajaqa. Because he, pronunciation, obviously, you know, some people can't pronounce properly. In a certain cultures, certain languages, are difficulty to pronounce. So he wasn't getting it right. So then the guy that was holding, you know, he's like ears and was pulling him backwards and forwards and the kid's crying and he's trying to pronounce it but he can't. And he's hitting him in at the same time. Now, when I saw this, right, wallahi, I felt so qasam khudaki disturbed. Ye to hai. But this second one, where the guy is literally, yaar, you want to see this pipe? Yaar, you don't even hit animals with pipes. But then you have but then you know those rubber pipes. Yeah. You know, it hurts. And for the guy, he was literally not just giving like a smile, like full force, like hitting the kids. One kid was crying, another kid was crying. So one person goes up to him and says, Bai sahab, dekho, is this really necessary? So then basically what happens is someone intervenes and he says to him, like, are you gonna just continue hitting them? Are you going to kill them? He goes, I don't care even if I kill them. I'm going to carry on hitting them. So there's this one guy, he's the one taking the picture. Allah Jazai Khair, they Allah reward him because he's the one that then made it go viral and then he showed the authorities. Cutting a long story short, the guy is arrested, pending in obviously now prosecution. That's okay, take it. Adala dealt with it. But the bigger nuksan is what? The bigger nuksan. Get people start associating sakti, harshness, danda, markotai with deen. But ye hota na? Well, think, if I just say to you now, think of this one thing. If I say to you now, your kari sahab, your local molbi sahab. Oh. Uh, well, we think negatively. We think he's going to be really strict. Our, our mizaj is a molbi sahab. They, you know, like, I'll give you an example. 
I, a, a woman brought her child to me to put him into the madrasa. So she said to him that, Bita, aap ne inki baat sunni hai? Ya aapki patai karenge? Ya aapko dande ke saath marenge? You know, she's telling the kid. And uh, this is in Crowley. And I interrupted, I said, oh, ho, ho, one, one second. Where did, you, where did you even hear that? And I said to an Urdu, I said, Aap kare maro danda, hum khalayenge anda. Mene mazak banaya. But the reality is, can you see what in her mazak was? Ke mein Molbi sahab ke baas bachcho bejengi, woh patai karega. Haan. Tired rakhega. But this is not Islam. This is not deen. Is abs- Let me make it very clear. It is absolutely haram in Islam. Haram. Not, ja- not najais, makru, ikhtilaf, difference of opinion. It is absolutely haram to hit a child who is not baligh. Apna bacha ho alag masla. To hit somebody else, to hit a child who is not baligh, is haram in Islam. Khalas. There is no two opinions, there is no difference of opinion on the fiqh. You are not allowed to hit and strike a child. Khalas. We seem to think Islam is about harshness. Wallahi, it's not Islam about harshness. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu, he mentions Khadintu Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ashra sinin. Fama qala li uffin qat. I, I served Salaab sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for 10 years. He never had a go at me. He never said uff to me. Why? Uff, uff. And why did you do this? Why didn't you do this? Allah sana'ata hadha. Why didn't you do this? Why did you do this? Why didn't you do this? No, never. He never had a go at me, never rebuked me, never shouted at me, never scolded me. Always naram mizaj, always akhlaq, always good manner. So, hamare zahno mein kya hai? Islam and patai, Islam and hitting, Islam zabardasti, Islam danda, Islam markutai, these are synonymous. Wallahi, it's not. And unfortunately, unfortunately, we've made this mizaj. That unfortunately people seem to think that Islam is about harshness, Islam is about beating, whereas Wallah, it's got nothing to do with this at all. Aab sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to show so much affection to the children. Remember he mentioned, مَن لَمْ يُوَقِّرْ كَبِيرَنَا وَلَا يَرْحَمْ صَغِيرَنَا فَلَيْسَ مِنَّا مَن لَمْ يَرْحَمْ صَغِيرَنَا وَلَمْ يُوَقِّرْ كَبِيرَنَا That person's not from amongst us. He's not from amongst us. Who doesn't show respect to his elders and does not show love for his youngsters. So the elders, they should deal with the youngsters with raham. It's okay. Show with a bit of raham. And elders, we should treat them with tawqeer, izza. Why? Because they're elder than us. Islam, this is what Islam teaches us. When we send children to the madrasa, people, the children are scared that we're going to get smacked, we're going to get beaten, we're going to get hit. Did they... Every person who ever befriended Aab sallallahu alayhi wa sallam thought that this individual loves me the most. But Aab sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his akhlaq was such that he used, to make, he used to make mu'amala with the people in such a way where they would think that he loves me the most. But I'm his favorite, definitely. Look how he treats me. Look how he speaks to me. That's what Aab sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that's how he dealt with individuals. What do we think of Islam? Islam. Allahu Akbar, Jihad, Allahu Akbar. Brother, it's a Wait, hisay. That's not the be all and end all of Islam. Akhlaq, ibadah, mu'amala, mu'ashara. All these things are part of Islam. We just do just some ibadah, khalas, mashallah, Muslim. I say kufr, shirk, bidah, ho, mashallah, Muslim. Mu'amala, no haram, no halal, zulum. It's okay. Everything now is halal. Where's the Islam? What, just in some salah, just in some fasting? This, we have to make islah. We need to make islah of this way of thinking. Islam is not just within the four walls. Okay, khalas, this is masjid. Mashallah, this is Islam. Alhamdulillah. No, that, that's not enough. Islam is a whole package. Udkhulu fi silmi kafa. Enter into Islam completely. Akhlaq, ibadah, mu'amala, mu'ashara, akh- oh, everything together. That's Islam. So I said, the bigger harm, yes, when that, when that, that Qari sahab, that Mordi sahab, he was hitting the children. He was beating them with pipe. I don't know, the cable clip. But you, yaar, He's beating the kid up with a pipe, subhanAllah. I wanted to... Oh, man, I thought, man, my, my steam was going off in my head. Because this gives a moqa and a, a chance to the other people to say, Look, it's all the people. Look, 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 all these people. But if you hold on to the sunnah properly, 
Aab was a warrior in the Maidan of Jung. He was a husband with his wives. He was a leader with his people. He was an Ustad with his students. He was a Murabbi with his students. He used to have the most best akhlaq. He would go to the likes of Abu Jahal, Allahu Akbar, Abu Lahab, all these individuals, always da'wah, da'wah, da'wah. And what happened was, when he went to Ta'if, people threw stones at him, Allahu Akbar. Head to toe was bleeding. Did he say to Osama bin Zayd and all the other Sahaba, Qum ya Sahaba, let's go. One time we're going to go to war, crush them. No. Even the angel came, he said, the old prophet of Allah. I'm Mu'akkal, I'm from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Akshamain, the two Bahar, I can crush them. Everyone in between will die. Just say yes. Abdul Prophet said, no, 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 no. I have hope that from the nussle of these people, someone will accept Islam. You know all these people from here, from subcontinent, Muhammad bin Qasim came to Sindh. Our Islam, obviously you have Shah Jahan and so on, I know the history, don't worry. But the back, more back, more back, Muhammad bin Qasim, he came from Ta'if. People from Sindh area, we are the dolot of that particular Qurbani. Our forefathers. Aab sallallahu said to him, he mentioned, Allahumma inni ashku ilayka dhu'fa quwwati. Dhu'fa quwwati. Oh Allah, I complain my weakness. Wa qillata hawani a'la nas. I, I complain of my feebleness. And it's not their fault, it's my, you know, I, I'm, I'm weak. I'm not important in the eyes of the people. And he said, the, the, he said to the angel, don't worry, I, I, I hope someone from their nasr will accept Islam. Real akhlaq, Allahu Akbar. Real akhlaq. When he went into Fatih Makkah, all likes of people, like for example now, you have like Ikram, Ikram bin Abi Jahl, all, others, all other people who, the mushrikeen of Makkah who did zulm on Sahaba. Sahaba had to make hijrah because of the zulm which happened. When they went into Fatih Makkah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned, لا تثريب عليكم اليوم. There's no, there's not going to be no badala on you today. Khalas, it's done. And then subhanallah, people entered into Islam. When they saw the akhlaq of Islam, Allahu Akbar. إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجَ People were entering into Islam, afwaja, like we say forge that are forge. Multitudes of people, scores of people were entering into Islam. Why? Akhlaq. Look, no one, no one, very few, illa masha Allah, have accepted Islam because, oh, oh, I like the minaret, I want to become Muslim. I like the domes, oh, oh I want to become Muslim. I like the picture of Medina, I want to become Muslim. Have you ever heard anyone like this? Because wallah, I haven't. There might be, mumkin, there might be someone who accepted Islam, why? Oh, I love, you know like SubhanAllah, they had an open day in Masjid, Manchester. You know open day? What happened was a woman came and she said, I love your gardens, I love how you look after the plants. So she thought that was a part of Islam. So anyway, she said she liked the plants because the Masjid, they used to look after the garden and you know, plant little plants and so on. Anyway, but you don't get many people coming into Islam because of the masajid, because of the madaris, because of the minarets. They enter into Islam because of the akhlaq. And wallah, African, Arab, Asian, black, white, poor, rich, all one side. If you say, la ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, you're on one saf. You're all Muslim. So sticking on my subjects, right, this is the harm. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Musa and Fir'aun, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala sent wahi, Musa, Musa and Harun were told to go to Fir'aun. وَقُولَ لَهُ قَوْلًا لَيِّنَا Speak to him softly. What, what did Fir'aun say? أَنَا رَبُّكُمُ الْأَعْلَى He claimed to be who? God, Almighty, رَبُّكُمُ الْأَعْلَى The great God, the biggest God, I am. This is what Fir'aun said. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? Go there, Fir'aun, go hardcore, start knocking him out, bang him out. No, no, no. وَقُولَ لَهُ قَوْلَ لَيِّنَا Speak to him softly. With, with, you know, subhanAllah, our deen is about hikmah, our deen is about akhlaq, our deen is about, <coughs> is about, you know, good character. This is what Islam is about. Unfortunately, in our mizaj, we think Islam is harshness, strictness, and this is what this guy done. He's beating the kids up with a pipe, Allahu Akbar. But it's haram in Islam to hit a child with a pipe. It's not even Islam to do that. But unfortunately, in our mizaj is what? Kari tha bada dadi wani noi. Kari the Murana is very harsh. Shayukh. You know, subhanAllah, I was in a lesson once. I'll finish saying this and finish. We was in university. My ustad, one of my teacher, in Dr. Ibrahim, right, from, from Sudan. So we were in Dars, right? And then there was me, a friend of mine from Medina University, another one from somewhere else. 
And we were just laughing, joking, yeah, having a laugh. And he said, oh, you're very happy for ulama. You're very happy people for ulama. Like, what do you mean? Because his mind is what? If you studied, if you're a Mulvi, oh, you can't joke, you got, everything's always harsh and straight face. No. The Prophet ﷺ, wallahi, was so soft, beautiful akhlaq all the time. So these individuals, right, I'm saying we should have rules, but to hit children in this manner, this makes people high for deen. And then people come in and they say, look at Islam, look at these people, look. And already we're losing the battle, do you know why? Because children don't want to come to the masjid. And then if you have ulama that are harsh, people leave the masjid, the deen even more. So we're in a crisis, subhanAllah, crisis. So I, I say this, my, my, we, 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 takufu sharraka anin nas. That was the hadith in Muslim. Our Prophet said, if you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this, khalas, taqufu sharka anin nas, khalas. Just keep your evil away from people. This is, this is okay. If you can't do so many good deeds, just don't do bad deeds. May Allah give us tawfiq, inshallah, to make amal and practice. This is a, we're going to start talking about this, very simple. We're talking about mu'ashala, mu'amalat, and all these things, inshallah, we're going to cover. Allah give us tawfiq to make amal and practice, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspire us to make amal on proper deen. Deen is not just a few prayers, it's a part of salah. If I come in, mashallah, lihya, thawbuh, mashallah, Muslim. No, tike, as outside Islam. Inside. What is inside then? Where's the inside of them? Ghadab, shahwa, takabbur, hirs, all these, this is negative akhlaq. We need to get, we need to make islah of these things as well. So khair inshallah, this is the whole topic. Allah give us tawfiq inshallah. Time is going over. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to practice. Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallahumma, bihamdi, ganashadu la ilaha illa anta. Let's talk for the world.